what is the role of a scrum master in a safe environment and how is it different from a normal uh, scrum environment hello happy Tuesday and I did promise that this week we are going to go through all the six lessons in safe scrum master and more of an overview of what we're going to be looking detailly in our session the safe uh, scrum master training next week so if you want to be part of that check the description buddy pick your spot uh it's an interesting journey right i know some of you have uh, had the the training two days online and you understood nothing but uh what we offer it's definitely a really really super learning environment we break stuff down easily for you uh today i'm gonna give you an overview of what lesson two in a safe scrum master uh training is more like uh, we're just gonna talk there about um seven different aspects we cover in that space so the first aspect it's about the responsibility of a scrum master now the responsibility of a scrum master in a safe environment doesn't only include you facilitating the team it start by you helping the team prepare for the pi planning which is program increment planning which means that you need to understand how the whole program is being developed you need to understand how the whole program is being developed not really you might not really be part of the, uh, the, 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 the the high level portfolio development, but you need to understand that or for program to be developed or how uh, our, our stories come about. Now, in a Scrum environment, you probably would just work with your PO, refine stories and all of that. But then in a safe environment, you collaborate with the release train engineer and the program uh, management to be able to pick out the futures which your team will be building. And then you now need to work with your team to break down these futures into story and facilitate uh, the, 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 your team to now put all of this story in the team backlog. In Scrum, we call it the product backlog. In Safe, we call it the team backlog. So what you're doing as a scrum master is not just about uh, working with the PO to prioritize. Now, product doesn't come in at the level of iteration, but then your first role is to participate in the PI planning. And then PI planning is where we create the team backlog. And how do we create a team backlog? There's a collaboration with the release training engineer who's the facilitator of the PI planning and the program management who are those who bring the different futures that we're going to be working on. Uh, most often, te a top 10 recommended futures are brought into the PI planning and then the different team uh, pick what they want to do and then they split it into stories and they make sure that they have work that need to be done for the next eight to 12 weeks. So in the PI environment or in the safe environment, we plan about up to 12 weeks ahead, right? Up to about five to six iteration ahead. Or you want to call it spring, up from four, five, six spring ahead. So there's that very clear visualization of what's going to be happening. That's what helped us to get more clarity and why do we need this clarity because there's a whole lot of collaboration and dependency so we need to know who is doing what and what particular time so that we know how to relate with each other all right that is very important so the characteristic of a scrum master in a safe environment that scrum master should be able to not just know how to collaborate with a team, know how to collaborate with the release train engineer, participate in the scrum of scrum. The scrum of scrum is very visible in a safe environment. In a scrum environment, you might have the community of practice, but scrum of scrum is very important because there's several teams collaborating and there's that need for different scrum master to meet to look at how are we moving towards the PI objective, right? And how are we doing in terms of collaborating and finding dependency among ourselves? 
all right now your role as a scrum master also is to build high performing teams when we talk about high performing teams one of the things you need to understand you need to understand the five different phases of high performing teams forming storming numbing performing and adjoining we're going to be going more deeper into that uh in the, our training next week right so there's quite a lot to learn when we come to a PI environment. And then we also talk about how do you facilitate events? How do you facilitate event effectiveness as a Scrum Masters? As a Scrum Master, you realize that most of this stuff we're talking about, these are questions that come up. These are questions that easily come up during an interview. And most often with a Scrum Guide, you, you don't really go deep into this. So even if you don't want to work as a safe Scrum Master, Taking a sales uh, uh, certification gives you so much added value into understanding clearly what the role of Scrum Master is all about. So for you to facilitate events, one of the things you need to do is about agenda, clarity, making sure people know what to expect and making sure that they don't only know what to expect, they know what to participate and action items that are within all of them know that now you also need to know how to coach how do you coach people one of the best approach you might also have had this question in an interview uh how do you coach people how do you how do you coach your team using powerful questions is a way to coach and that's one of the approach we use also for those who are uh, uh, taking interview practice with us. If you're also interested, you can join the train. We, instead of just putting you down and teaching you, oh, this is what you should do, this is what you do. Now, if you come and ask me, oh, coach, uh, I was in an interview yesterday and I was asked the question, uh, can you tell me about the conflicts you have? Now, I would not tell you the conflict. I say, okay, what do you think about a conflict? Oh, this is what I think. Okay. That's good. And what else do you think about this scenario? So we use powerful question to guide you to the answer because there is definitely no one that's blank. You know what to say most often it's just that because we are afraid and we don't really think it's the right uh, way or the right thing to say, we cannot shy away from that. So with powerful questioning, it help uh, um, a team member to to kind of boost in a prop learning and curiosity and, and also push ahead conversation, right? Let's say if you ask me, uh, when is your next uh, safe training session, right? Then I say, next week, Monday. It keeps the conversation, right? But if I say, oh yeah, it's next week, Monday. Is there a way I can help you or do you want to be part of it? What happened? It triggers the conversation. So for you to be able to, because with team, it's all about communication. So using powerful question doesn't, doesn't kind of key conversation. It triggers that conversation to be going. Now, we also talk about collaborating with other teams. Agile, Agile or Safe Scrum is about working with different teams and they need to be collaboration. You need to know when to join the other team uh, 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 daily stand up in order to get clarity on what they are doing. If you're collaborating with them, you need to know how to be able to uh, 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 liaise with the release train manager. What, at what level do you escalate? All of that is very important. And most importantly, in lesson two, we'll also be talking about Resolving conflict. What are the possible ways in which you could resolve conflict? <clears throat> Excuse me. So all of that, it's very, very important. And we're going to be carrying in detail. So I just did like a 10 minute video. Yeah. But we're going to go deeper into this. It's going to take about an hour, 30 minutes for us to cover all of this because we take much time to illustrate and to teach and to do every stuff. So. I want to see you in the sales training session next week and let's uh, put this together in the description a link you'll see a link on how to enroll and immediately you enroll you are going to have an automatic message to join uh, the class group where we'll start communicating some of the materials that you'll be using next week all right i'll see you tomorrow for a tip on lesson two and pay attention to the 
video that's coming up tomorrow, I'm going to be giving you a high level overview of the PI planning.